Hey, little girl, comb your hair, fix your makeup. Soon he will open the door. Don't think because there's a ring on your finger, you need to try any more. For lives should always be lovers. Welcome to the house that fear built. Come on in. Just the two of us. The three of us. Oh, didn't I specify that in my invitation? I suppose you expected one of my legendary dinner parties. No, Gloria and Jimmy Stewart and the founders are on Wednesday. Tonight it's just us gals. Sit down, please. The sofa's comfy. You may not be. Can I get you ladies something to drink? Scotch. Just a glass. I take it that's not Pepsi Cola. Vodka 100 proof. I say if you're going to drink, drink something you like. I'll be right back. Dining room's through there. I hope you gals have bought your appetites. It's an ambush. She's out for blood. You gonna give it to her? Are you? Fish jello. Goody. No, it's aspic, darling. It's all the rage. I thought it'd be the perfect dish for our little tete a -tois. Something substantial, but transparent. All right, ladies. You know what I need, and you know what the fans want. So, feel free to let her rip. So, who gets top billing? Oh, Betty, of course. I mean, she plays the title role. It only makes sense. Both roles are tremendously important. <laughs> you know, Hedda, I have been wanting to work with Betty since 1944, when I first went to Warner Brothers. And when I found whatever happened to Baby Jane, I sent it to Bob Aldridge and told him in no uncertain terms that this was for Betty and me only. I was thrilled. Think of it, Joan Crawford was a big star when I arrived fresh off the boat. Such a lovely thing to say. Fascinating. <clears throat> oh, how lovely. <laughs> what are you serving for dessert? We're skipping dessert. I'm already getting diabetes. Dateline, Los Angeles. Stars of the night sky tend to keep to fixed orbits and never interfere with one another. Things sometimes operate that way in Hollywood, too. Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, stars of equal magnitude who ruled in motion pictures during the fabulous 30s, never got to know one another. Now, in the Indian summer of their careers, they're about to. <laughs> <laughs> 